Okay, let's make it a rectangle for part C. Yep. Ooh, so I stepped on a piece of the zone tool there. Okay, so we've gone through, we took a side track through some of the arithmetic, or the algebra, I mean. So I have eight, back to eight pieces here. Yeah. What am I going to do next? You have to chop it up into 16. Okay, what's going to happen up on our... Well, we're going to chop it up kind of like that. It's gonna. You have to carve four new lines. Yeah. So I start with four. Show me eight. Eight. Okay. Show me sixteen now. Well, you're going to have to go through. One, two, three, and four. There's sixteen. Yeah. What's this gonna look like now when I've chopped it up even finer? Well, it's gonna start looking like a rectangle. Okay, draw me a couple of the pieces, then you don't have to draw all 16. Well, they're going to look really tiny. Yeah, they are going to look really tiny. And then, there'll be one on this side again. Uh-huh. There you go. Ooh, up, up. Yeah, that's enough. I'm going to cut it kind of like that, and it looks like it's getting straighter and straighter. Yeah, it's not always perfectly straight across the top, no. but it is always half the circumference. Yep. Okay? And as you chop it up finer and finer, it starts looking straighter and straighter and straighter. And when you chop it up to infinite pieces, it will be straight. Yeah. But we can't chop it up to infinite pieces. We can't chop it up into infinite pieces. But we eventually start seeing a rectangle. Yeah. Heights the radius. Width is the half the circumference. So. So what is the area of this rectangle if the height is r and the width is half the circumference? Pi times the radius squared. That's where it gets to. But show me the steps. How do you get there? Well, first. What's the area here? First, you do one. It's one half times the circumference times the radius. Okay, good. So then we have the formula, pi is the circumference of the diameter, so that means the circumference is pi times the diameter. Okay, so and I can put that into here, here now, so I get one half the circ the pi, pi times the diameter times the radius. Okay? So now, well, so Circumf the circumference over 2 is pi times the diameter over 2. Okay. So that means, well, we can get this into an equation. So we have pi times the diameter times the radius all over 2. Very good. And then the, the diameter is 2r, so uh -huh. it's 2 radius. So you can replace that. The diameter with 2r. Yeah. So. Pi times 2r times, times r. So then it's all over 2, and we can take this 2 out. So we get pi times r times r, so it's just pi times radius squared. Hey, how about that? Is that pretty neat? Yeah. I think so, too. Um, so there is why the area of a circle is pi r squared. Yeah. Pretty fun. Yeah. Okay. Good job, honey. Good job.